hi and welcome back to this channel in the previous video we saw how to use an input dialog box now in this video we will have a look at how to use the output dialog box and the show message dialog method as a reminder, the show message dialog method belongs to the predefined class JOptionPane, which is contained in the package javax.swing. Now, here is the syntax of the show message dialog method. As you can notice, the method show message dialog takes four parameters. The first parameter is called the parent component and it represents the parent of the dialog box. If there is no specified parent component, then this parameter will be null, just as I have put it here in the statement. The second parameter represents the message to appear on the dialog box. So this hello everyone is going to appear on the dialog box when we run this program. The third parameter is the title of the dialog box. So this is going to be the title of the dialog box in the third parameter here. The fourth parameter represents the message type and it can either be an integer value representing the type of icon that will appear on the dialog box. Or you can also use certain J option pane options like for example i will remove this integer and then write j option sorry j option pain that information message like this so this J option option is going to determine the type of message or the type of icon that will appear on the dialog box. Now, if I run my program, you can notice the title, which is greeting as we wrote it here. The message, hello everyone, just as we wrote it. And the icon, which is denoting the message type because we said information message that's why we are having that i here and if you click on ok the dialog box is going to disappear so if i change this into uh, an integer value and say for example one and then run you see it's still showing the icon i changed to two now it's showing a different icon if i change to three Now it's showing the question mark icon. So I can change these values. Here I can also put J option pane that plain message like this and run now i don't have the icon because we have specified the message type uh, to use the option plain message and if i click on ok the dialog box is going to disappear so guys that's how you can output results in your program using dialog box or graphical user interface so thanks for viewing i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to this channel for more let's meet in the next video